In this video, I'm going to share with you how to make a grid for lines in Canva. Okay, the first way I'm going to be showing you how to make grid lines in Canva is by using the rulers and guides feature. Um, you can access this by going to the file and show rulers and guides, or you can do the shift R key and that will also show the rulers and guides and toggle it on and off. Your rulers are going to show up in whatever size you have for your document. So this document is 8 by 10 inches. But if your document is in um, pixels, it will show in pixels, millimeters, or centimeters. So we are going to be doing this 8 by 10 inch document because I want to show you how to make a grid that is 1 inch by 1 inch square. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to pull down these grid lines. And you do this by going up here and hovering over the ruler and your mouse is going to change to this arrow thing. And then you can just pull down and you'll have a grid line that you can pull down. And you can set that at your 1 inch mark in your document. Um, and you can do that again for your bottom one. Now this will take a long time if you want to do every inch, so I don't suggest doing that, but this is really handy um, if you need certain margins for your document or if you need um, specific measurements of where you want an item to um, be on your document. Um, once you put an item into here, uh, it's going to actually just like clip right to that line, so that's really nice and handy. So I'm gonna show you how you can also do it on the side grid. There's the one inch mark and one more over there, and there's the other one inch mark. Okay, and this can clip right to it. Now there is another um, option for showing margins, but the margins are specified and you can't actually move the lines. I think they're 0.75 inches, so, um, this would be good if you need specific margins and you want your document or your um, elements to clip to that margin. Okay, so that's the first way that you can add grid lines in Canva. The next way that you're going to make grid lines in Canva is by using the actual line element. And you can add a line to your Canva document by pressing the L button on your keyboard. That's a quick add, nice handy feature. And we are going to make this line um, the full width so the um, from one grid to the next grid we are going to copy this down so we have 10 of these lines we're going to set the top line um, right up here at this mark and the bottom line down here at this mark make sure that your lines are the right size before you start doing this otherwise it's really hard to change the lines you can't change them all at once um, position and tidy up and that's going to make all those lines exactly one inch apart according to your grid. Um, and then I'd like to group them so then I can move them all as one unit. Again, I cannot um, resize these lines after I've grouped them. So I have to ungroup them if I want to resize. And then I individually have to click on each line and resize each one. So again, make sure all your lines are the same length and the length that you want them before um, you do this step. So again, I'm going to just group all these lines together and I'm gonna also lock them for my next step. So now we're gonna do the horizontal lines. And how you do that, again, we're gonna just add a line by pressing the L key. We're gonna make this line at a 90 degree angle. We're going to make it the length that you need it to be. Make seven of these. We're going to take one of these and put it over here. It doesn't matter which one. And we're going to take the other one and put it over here. And then we're going to highlight all of them. And again, we're going to position, tidy up, and that makes them equally distance and they're all one inch apart. And again, we're going to group them. And then we can just line them up a little better. Now for the next step, I'm going to remove these markers. I'm going to do Shift R to remove them. And I want to group the whole document right now. So this one's locked because I locked it for using it. So I'm going to unlock it. And I'm going to set this one on top of it, just like that. And then I'm going to highlight the whole thing. And I'm going to group the whole thing. And now this whole box will move together as one big grid. And they are all of one inch by one inch grids. So that is a really great way to make grid lines in Canva. All right, I've got one more to show you, and this one involves using elements. Okay, the last way to make a grid line in Canva is to use uh, Canva elements. Go and click on grid, 
lines and you can pick any one of these and it doesn't matter what it looks like because I'm going to show you how to edit this. Now this is a free one and if you want these lines to be a specific um, length or size then let me show you how you can do that. So we are going to also take the elements and add a square and we are going to resize that square to be one inch and if your square moves like that um, a way to make sure that it's um, stays formatted one inch by one inch is to click the shift key when you're clicking on the square and that will make the size um, stay proportionate as you make it smaller and there we go. Okay now you are going to take that and put that over here and we want to move that to the back of this grid because that will make it easier for when we need to resize this. All right so what we're going to do is take this grid and increase it so that until one of those squares matches the square underneath. That looks good to me. Okay, so now we have one inch by one inch squares according to this and we can put position this anywhere we want on the paper and the neat part about this thing is if you double click on it you can cut it down to specific sizes. Um, it's still going to be one inch by one inch but you it can fit better on your paper and you can make it any size that you want. Um, and you can still decrease the size of that grid or increase the size of that grid depending on the proportions that you need for your document. Again, this is um, also really handy if you do want to make those smaller detailed grid lines, like maybe quarter inch or half an inch, you can make this smaller and then just use that as a guide to add your lines to. And then um, you just line it up on there. Okay, so that is how you make grid lines of Canva. Remember to like and subscribe for more great Canva tips and tricks.